Afghanistan is a rather tumultuous place. So today, I decided to attempt to transform it into a liberal democracy in Democracy 4, a political simulator. This turned out to be the hardest challenge I've ever done in this game over multiple attempts. Something that should only take one attempt is subscribing. We're closing in on 100,000 subscribers, which is an objectively better number than 91,631. Right lads, welcome to Afghanistan. Uh, it's not a sentence I think that you'd particularly want to hear. So we're going to be the boys. We're going to be going up against the Defenders of the Faith of the Holy Justice Alliance. Because those are the base names for parties and I'm happy with that. Right, we start out with, I think, the worst situation I've ever seen. And I played as North Korea in this game. Damn near minimum GDP, maximum unemployment, maximum crime, maximum poverty, no education and very little health. Yeah, all of my advisors are either sympathetic to the religious or the conservatives, both of whom I'm gonna try and get rid of. Oh my God, look at the amount of stuff. Okay, what do we have here? We've got fake news, prison overcrowding, race riots, polarization, alcohol abuse. <laughs> in the Islamic Emirate, come on. Jesus Christ, organized crime. I, I, I'm not even gonna put all of this in the video. That's how bad it is. I don't know how long we have. Oh, we don't have a term limit, that's good. Three years, not great. Might be an idea for our first act to be to raise the term limit. Not exactly a liberal democ democratic thing to do, but that's the end game, not, you know, the current game. Here's the general plan. Keep the uh, class warfare going so we have emergency powers to try and fix things. Um, I'm going to try and for now just immediately switch and try and get more liberals instead of conservatives. I think the best way to do that is to... Wait, we've got gender transition in... We've got at will gender transition in the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan. I don't know, but there's high gay marriage. I don't know how accurate that is. Okay, we now have a debt crisis. Okay, this is... Uh, oh, Jesus. And we've got armed religious communities. This is going to be a lot harder of a challenge than I thought. We're going to go for an atheist. We're going to go straight up and just get an atheist uh, education system. And that's all we can do for this turn. I can't implement the alcohol tax yet. Have to, we can't do anything, that's the issue. Okay, we've got rid of class warfare, somehow. All right, our debt is ridiculously high. We're gonna have to start increasing some taxes. Alcohol tax, that'll get rid of the alcohol consumption and it brings in a measly couple of million. <laughs> I've just been staring at the screen because I don't even know where to begin. My ministers already hate me. Got a deficit of 11 billion. What are we spending our money on? Okay, let's start cutting some spending. Okay, we're spending most of our money on debt interest. State pension, okay. We, we just, oh god, we just need, we need more money. Government borrowing is 56% of our income. Oh, Jesus. Right, this will piss everyone off, but a revenue service means we're more effectively getting taxes in. That's another billion. That's going to be an, an attempt to assassinate me immediately. I've been three turns in. The global economy is not doing well. Our debt is continuing to rise. Yeah, there's extreme poverty. Brilliant. Oh, God. Okay, we got rid of antisocial behavior. Every time I like get one thing done, there's something else that pops up. Just explain this screen. This is the uh, the group. This is how many people there are. These are like, if they're activists or these are like guys that will try and assassinate me. As you can see, the guys will try and assassinate me. Loads of members and uh, quite a high threat. We get capital's gain tax going. <laughs> Jesus. We lost another minister. Food banks are a thing. Oh, Jesus. All right, well, let's see what happens. A hundred percent of the vote. They got a hundred percent. The Holy Justice Alliance, no one wanted them. A hundred percent of the vote. More people didn't vote than voted for me. I got a thousand votes. They got 43 million. All right. Attempt number two. So immediately we have to get rid of this because this debt crisis is horrific. So this costs us two billion. We can save two billion like that. So we're going to increase income tax, decrease military spending and increase payroll tax. That's the plan so far. I'm going to implement an automation tax. I really don't want to, but we kind of have to. We don't have a choice. We need to fix this deficit as soon as possible. Okay, we got rid of class warfare and we also got rid of extreme poverty. That's good. Okay, we've got a slight surplus. Right, that's the economy fixed very quickly. Now, last time we didn't have enough time. We're going to have to ruin our democracy just a little bit by uh, increasing this. Okay, tax evasion. Yeah, I'll, mm -hmm. corporate exodus. Again, that's fine. Brain drain. Yeah. Just because the high earning stuff, that's okay. We need to do a drone strike act. We can't afford it. We are Afghanistan and you must get drones. Don't give the Americans more of an excuse than they already have, man. But we need to get that. If we can get that debt interest down, we're making so much more money. As much as I'd love to just pander to the liberals right now, I think it's a bit extreme. I think we need to get the conservatives on side first. Armed robbery should be going next turn. And social behavior should be leaving pretty soon. Prison overcrowding. Can't do anything about that. What else do the conservatives care about? Race riots, is that going anytime soon? Mm, not really. It's gonna seem, again, a little bit strange, but I am going to be limiting press freedom. But if I were to drop this, the patriots would like it, and crime would go down, but violent crime would go up. 
Oh, there's no right choices. Right, I think we're gonna have to lean heavy into into conservatives. Then we'll shift over to socialists, and then we'll shift over to liberals. So, first things first. Let's get rid of gender transition. They like private prisons. It's gonna cost us a fair bit, but it'll get rid of prison overcrowding. And everyone likes it if uh, prisons are state of the art. So let's do that. Average approval's going up, but not fast enough. We can't afford that to go any higher. Our debt is just killing us. We need to slowly chip away at it. Yeah, it's gonna quickly give ourselves another year. Why is crime going up? I don't understand. Uh, police force, food shortage, food crisis, firearm laws, alcohol abuse. Is that not going down? No, it's going up. Why is health going down? I don't understand why everything's going down. Why is conservatives going down now? We were so close to fixing you. Why did you go up? There's no reason for it to just suddenly jump up. Violent crime went up as well. Why? Are we at least fixing homelessness? No, it's going up. How? Let's see. Jesus Christ. Both are out the first one again. Ah, right. What can I do differently? Is it even possible? Is the is the question I'm asking myself now. Is that deficit the start that kills us? What I do, just ignore it. Right, well, everyone's a conservative. So let's pander to them initially, I think. We need to get crime down. So I think we're going to get the debt crisis either way. Let's ignore our issues with debt and just go straight for try and tackle crime. So that means CCTV, we're also gonna get uh, community policing early, try and get rid of racial tension start, get some body cameras. We're gonna get state housing initially as well. It costs quite a bit, but again, we need to try and get rid of class warfare and homelessness immediately because poor people don't like that. Wow, okay, we got rid of class warfare and social behavior and armed robbery in one turn. That's incredible. All right, now if we can get rid, rid of race rights early, we might actually do it. Each time we're just gonna increase our executive term limit whilst we have the power because of our lackeys. Race rights are gone, that's huge. There are now very few poor people in the country. I'm not sure why. Everyone's middle income. The only thing I know about the middle income is that they, they like it when you get rid of things like benefit and stuff. Right, I got rid of contagious diseases and organized crime. Unemployment's going down, crime's going down, poverty's going down, health's going up. This is, this is it. No one's voting for us still, but, but we're, we're getting there. All right, press freedom. We need to just uh, do a little something, something with that. We could just do this. We would just like, that would ruin everything. Well, I suppose I can't really ruin it anymore, can I? Realistically, we're, we're gonna default on every all our debts anyway. If I do this, it might please them. Okay, that's important. That's so important. Homelessness might go soon. We're almost a trillion in debt though. That is, that is an issue. I have to say, I really despise the middle income a lot. They don't like the debt crisis, but they also don't like taxes. So they want us all to be rich without paying any taxes. What do you want from me? The government's in debt because I have to lower taxes because I have to pander to your asses. Just confused, all the large groups like me. So how am I not, where's the focus group? So you approve me, you don't, why? Because you're capitalist, you, well, you hate us. It's close, people are kind of just mildly disapproving, but this is what I mean. She's part of all these groups that like me. This one middle income group that has a mildly negative opinion of me, and that's it, they don't like us. Finally, we did it. Poverty's going up still though. Right, I reckon if we can swing the Patriots to our side, we might have a shot at winning the election. I don't know how I've managed to get here. All right, campaign speeches, lads. It all comes down to this, a couple of good speeches and, uh, and I might have a chance here. We actually have more rich people than poor people in Afghanistan, which is strange considering we have 31 billion of a turn in deficit, which we started with like 10, and a, and a debt of almost a trillion. Right, here it is. It's, it's close. It's so close. Oh, right, I think we won it. Okay. All right. Nice. Brilliant. Let's reshovel our cabinet to everyone who didn't like me. Fire. Uh, you don't like me, fire you. You're, you're terrible, fire you. Uh, right, okay, everyone else likes me, good. Now, I think this one we're gonna be going predominantly socialist. Um, and I'm gonna, I've already started to lay the foundations of liberalism in the country. But now we're gonna really try and push for it. We've gone past the first hurdle and I don't know what happens next. We're an egalitarian society, boys, okay. We start. I wanna try and fix as much stuff as possible. First things first, we're taking out the religious. All right, full atheist. We've gotten rid of most of uh, most of them, so that's that's good. I want to try and fix this economy, but it'd be a bad idea just to introduce a bunch of new taxes because, uh, okay, I'm not an economist, but let me give you a lesson in my basic economic theory. You try and tax everyone, everyone will leave, right? You gotta kind of do it incrementally. If I just announce tomorrow 15 different taxes, people just aren't gonna pay. But if I do it slowly over time, there's a chance they will. Uh, plus, if I increase the GDP, people will have more money to, uh, you know, 
actually give me in taxes. So we're going to focus on GDP growth versus taxation to try and get rid of this deficit. Uh, before that, though, we're going to spend some money because we're going to try and increase liberalism in every way possible that I know. So that's art subsidies. That's um, Race Discrimination Act. Where is that? We increase that. It increases liberalism. If we go to Social Justice Foundation, that will increase liberalism. All right, stamp out racism. So slowly over time, we're going to get more liberals now. We get our stability up. The more st the more stable our society, the, the more liberals we have. Let's see what we can do about that. Nothing. <laughs> uh, we can't afford to swat our democracy right now. Uh, I suppose we could try and fix corruption a little bit. I have another plan as well, which is to boost GDP via uh, getting skilled immigration uh, incentives, which is going to drop our foreign relations a little bit. So I don't do too much of the extreme. So we'll do it about there. All right, our GDP is going up. Our policies seem to be working somewhat. Again, you don't want to do too, too much too quickly. Our economy is getting more competitive. This is good stuff. I mean, the deficit is rising, but we're, we're ignoring that. It's happy days otherwise. Wow. Okay, cool. So we do have rare earth crisis. That, that sucks. And well, immigration protests. Uh, but we do have high productivity, which is nice. And uh, technological advantage. Well, it's, it was that until we got rare earth crisis. Nice. Okay, we got rid of foreign, intellection, foreign intelligence interference. And we've got academic paradise. Afghanistan, eh? Not bad. Not bad at all. Because we want to get a little bit more GDP, we are going to be selling our uh, citizenship to Afghanistan, the most educated nation on earth. The global economy has crashed, though. <laughs> Swings and roundabouts. To be fair, we have gotten rid of 10 billion of the deficit. We, we are chipping away at it. I've, I mean, I know I've cut out a lot of this. It's just because it's 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 uh, slow progress, to be honest. We're close to getting a corporate exodus. That's bad. Uh, let's drop corporation tax just a little bit. Okay, we're getting rid of our rare earth crisis. That's good. Tech crisis is always going to stay. Food crisis, we're getting there. Immigration protests, I'm trying, but it's just because of how many patriots we got. We're also going to just drop down this. Okay, now I could have just screwed myself over here. 45% of the vote. We're getting close. Membership. They're still my largest voting block. It's a bit of a, a, a negative feedback loop here because my immigration protests lead to more patriots, which lowers foreign relations, which leads to more patriots, which leads to, I can't get rid of immigration protests, which leads to more patriots. It's just, it's kind of horrible. We are going to join the UN. It's going to piss off the patriots even more. Oh, we've got a private space industry in Afghanistan. Huh. Cool. And we don't have a rare earth uh, crisis anymore. That's great. Hey, we arrested a government traitor. Brilliant. Look at that. I mean... <laughs> We're still rigging the election, but still. Half of our country is an ethnic minority. If like 40% of our country is one group, I suppose the 60% provided they're splink, split amongst a bunch of different minorities, they're all ethnic minorities, but that's that's quite amusing. I will do this though. I'm trying to appease them a little bit. I'm trying to play everyone off at the same time. I don't know if I'll be able to do it. The global economy is in deep recession. If you could just come up a bit, man, we need money. I have a bunch of, uh, of political capital, but I just... I, there's nothing I can do. It's just a waiting game, really. The issue is with making such a balanced society is that I can't, like, pick on certain groups. See here, like, the capitalists are 46% of my country and the socialists are 54. So I can't, if I, if I piss off one, I'll piss off everyone. I just increased racial tension by 31% by clicking that one button to allow controversial march. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. There's so many liberals. Oh, I need to start adhering to the liberals more than everyone else. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. My bad, my bad, my bad. Okay, on demand. Now we start making it liberal democracy. Oh my God, I might actually do this. I mean, we'll be hideously in debt, but I might actually do it. To be honest, I think it's it's time. It's time for it to be a liberal democracy. We have liberals and there's a lot of them. Let's uh, do all the liberal things that we can. Don't understand how my, my popularity absolutely tanked after I uh, got rid of the abortion law. Maximize judicial independence. We're doing everything, boys. Because ultimately, even if we win this election, we're not going to, but even if we won this election, we'd have been, uh, uh, we'd have been, Done. Oh, right, of course. Press freedom. Ladies and gentlemen, we have officially turned Afghanistan into a, a, a liberal democracy with like a lot of socialism. <laughs> We're gonna get smashed here. Yeah, that's not, that's not great. At least we beat the progressive fundamentalists. <laughs> but oh, since we were first elected, poor earnings went up 160%. Crime is non-existent. Equality's up. Productivity's up. Immigration's up. Poverty's down. Lifespan's up. Air travel's up. Stability, everything's up. All the bad stuff's gone down, like corruption and racial tension and food price. And yeah. So we started out up here, very much uh, conservative. And then after this last term, we sort of just stayed between socialism and capitalism and, and went liberal.
I would say that is a success. Economically, we uh, did not do much. I, that would have taken time. We, we shaved about 10 billion off of uh, the, the, the quarterly deficit. So I'm pretty pleased with that. I, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to call that like a 50% success. In any case, lads, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, do let me know what kinds of challenges you want me to get up to in Devox 4 or other sort of similar games. Uh, more than happy to check them all out. Please make sure to like and subscribe because it really does help us out. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. My camera's out of focus. Focus. I'll see you all next time. Shout out to our Patreons. J Erickson321. Shadow Singer. Jado52. Cargan. Flyerton. Henrique. Redguard76. Xiaomi and Charlie Demorel. Your support means a lot, guys.